Grace Kitchens presents Creative Cooking. In this series, we showcase the talents of some of our favorite chefs as they demonstrate how to prepare some of their favorite dishes. And now, here is today's host. Welcome to Creative Cooking. We're here in the parish of Trelawney, where one entity is doing its best to capture the allure, the energy, the spirit that's Jamaica. The out of many experience. With me is Lenny Little White, creator of this experience. Mr. Little White, we thank you for hosting us today. It's nice to have you and, and the Grace family. Uh, and it's, it's, it's great to have you finally on Creative Cooking. Finally. The out of many experience. Share with us the concept. Long ago when I did work for the Jamaica Tourist Board, I was struck by the similarity of attractions. It was primarily farm tours, Duns River Falls. Yes. There was in Dolphin Cove or Chocolate Cove at that time. And I felt that Jamaica's history was so rich that we never ever packaged this, not just for visitors, but for Jamaicans. Uh, starting from the original inhabitants, the Tainos. So we came up with this concept to try to find in one, in one location the main ethnic groups. So we created these little villages which starts from the Tainos, who were the first. Then the Spanish came, and then the Spanish brought Africans. People, some people don't know that the first Africans came with the Spanish. Mm -hmm. Then the British came, and so we have a British town square. And from that, we go into the Indians who came after emancipation as indentured slave, slaves, yeah. or laborers as they call them. Then the Chinese, and then we end up in what we call the Pasa Pasa section. Pasa Pasa. Jamaica yeah. today, with yeah. all the dance hall and the ladies dressed like how they go to the no, dance hall sure, session. Yeah, yeah. And we end up at our inland beach. We have a little beach with sand and all those things. And then it's another dance session again. So the idea was to capture Jamaica's history, in a, not like a museum, because it's all interactive. There's motion picture, there's yeah. dance, there's drama. You even get to taste uh, different things from different cultures. So in, in an hour and 50 minutes, hour and a half, you pass through Jamaica's history, in an entertaining, interactive way. Thanks for having us at your place. Right, thank it's you a for pleasure. Okay. I'm going to prepare a Trelawney yam rundown with shrimp. I'm going to start by hatching my margarine. Next, I'm going to add some garlic. Onions. Scallions. Some fresh thyme. Now this dish is a one pot meal, it's very easy to prepare. I'm sauteing all my vegetables to get all the nice flavors out. So I'm gonna add my shrimp. It's already peel and de -vein. This This is very easy to prepare. You can also use chicken if you don't have shrimp. The shrimp is a little expensive, so you can use chicken if you want. Now when you know your shrimp are cooked, when, when you start to see they start to change color to pink, you know they are cooked and they start to open up. A little pepper. And I had my coconut milk which is grace coconut milk. Can't cook one down without coconut milk. Mmm, nice smell. I'm gonna add my yam, which I already cooked. It's already cooked from last night. So if it's leftover yams, you can always use them up. Don't throw them away. And I had my sweet corn, very sweet corn. The 
fish dish is almost ready. I'm gonna just add my peppers last for colors. You don't have to overcook them. Now dish, this dish has everything inside. It's a complete meal. You have vegetables, protein, and it's very easy to prepare. I'm gonna just season salt and pepper. Ooh, smells good. Nice color also. I'm just gonna garnish with a little more peppers. I already julienne these peppers. Put them in ice water to let them curl. And I'm gonna garnish with a little cilantro. You can use cilantro, you can use fresh thyme for garnishing. You have to use the yam in a very interesting way, just one of the many other ways that yam may be used. And you have included that, included in this dish, coconut milk. That's great, yes. coconut milk without a doubt. Is this one of the dishes you serve at Sandals um, Monty today? Yes, it is. Wow, 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 wow. In fact, last week I tried it for a cooking show. Yes. For some of the guests and they loved it. Okay, wow. Looks good, smells yeah, good, good. Tastes, tastes, tastes just as good. Yes. Thank you very much, Martin. Now we are going to give you a small taste of the out of many experience. for today it was our pleasure having you please write phone or email grace foods if you have any queries or questions we'd be glad to hear from you till next time thanks for watching this is chef season on creative cooking and we hope you enjoyed today's show join us every monday morning at 7 35 as we showcase the talents of some of our favorite chefs demonstrating some of their favorite dishes here on Smile Jamaica, it's morning time. Chef Season continues next Monday morning on Creative Cooking, 7.35 on TVJ, and with a repeat at 2.50 p.m. every Sunday afternoon. Don't miss it. <laughs>